Ah, yes, the Great Cleric Episode 3, where our MC Lucio keeps training his martial arts skills for some inexplicable reason. Y you know, at this point, I'm not really sure what to think about this show. On one hand, I'm like, okay, the premise is pretty cool. I think this whole healer setup getup can be very interesting and intriguing with how they execute it, if at all. But for some reason, the past two entire episodes, they have just done this martial arts training arc. While yes, it contains other elements as they are going through with that, is getting very tiring and jarring very quickly. So in episode two, if you remember, Lucio he started doing this basically his martial arts training arc with Broad in this adventurer's guild, and he spent the entire second episode doing that, while also healing some people at the end. In the third episode, well, once again, he spends the entire episode training, and you do like a one-month time skip, and he keeps doing his training arc, and at the end of the episode, he goes back to doing more of martial arts training arcs. Now, I don't really know what the purpose of this is going to be. It's not horribly made, like sure, like Broad is a cool enough character, Lucio is likable enough, and the interactions he has with the people at the guild, and... For example, some scenes with the healing of this cat person, etc. Sure, those mingled scenes in between the training is well enough done. But at the same time, it's like, dude, we've had now two entire episodes of our, of our MC trying to learn martial arts and still being an absolute novice and newbie at it. And even if you try to put in some extra narrative elements throughout the episode as you do these training arcs, or this training arc, at some point it has to end, right? You have to progress the story eventually, right? But yes, I'm not quite sure what they are trying or thinking of doing with this entire thing. I, mean, I assume that by the end of next episode, they will have to, absolutely have to end this martial arts training arc. Because if they spend another two episodes just in this adventurer's guild, and him not going anywhere else, or doing anything else but training and healing, it will get very jarring extremely quickly. I mean, already I'm over the training arc, even though, yes, I do appreciate our MC actually having to train to get stronger and actually being weak and actually taking a long time to get stronger. That is very reasonable for once, and our MC actually has to grow. That's cool. It's great. We don't see that too often in Isekai MCs, so I do enjoy that to an extent. But at the same time, you cannot let it get stale which it very quickly can get if they don't stop with this pretty soon. That's not to say that this episode was a pure dunt either. Like, there were some elements in the ep episode here I thought were enjoyable. You know, we do have the scene where Lucio heals this cat lady or cat person or cat girl, and, you know, she is up in arms and crying about it because, of course, as is very stereotypical and normal in any Isekai world or any fantasy world, Always, every single time, the beast people, or like non-humans, are always discriminated against, are always persecuted, and are always shunned from polite society. Every single time. So there is no difference in this one either. So that is a bit, uh, okay. I mean, I suppose that just might be a inevitable truth of any world you go into, no matter which fantasy isekai you are thrown into, some human actions will always remain the same. Then again, I'm not going to go into a philosophical discussion on that one in this video. But sure, I mean, I'm not going to be too annoyed about that trope, but it is what it is. But of course, Lucio being his super progressive, modern Japan male, he treats everyone the same. So good on him, I guess. I am starting to wonder though, like, all these adventurers are up in arms and so happy and worried that Lucio might leave, and so happy that he keeps healing them and saving them from death, basically, over and over again. But I have to wonder if Lucio is the only healer in the entire town that does any work. Because seemingly, not a single other healer exists in this town that actually does work for free or a reasonable price. At all. I mean, that's just like... I mean, am I wrong? I mean, that must be the case, considering how sought after he is. But yes, again, some aspects I like include that sort of healing portion and him building connections as he keeps saving these people and helping these people, and as he spends a lot of time at the Adventurer's Guild, and he starts building connections, friendships, with these other adventurers and such there. So that's cool enough. 
And they do do a lot of the comedic moments in this episode. For example, him being forced to chug down this poisonous, horrible-looking, smelling substance that apparently gives him a stat boost and endurance and whatever for six hours after drinking it. And they play a lot of humor and such around that. It's like, yeah, okay, sure, I guess it's entertaining enough to an extent, though it can grow very tired very quickly, which I would say it already is starting to get to that point after one episode of it. So hopefully they don't exaggerate that too much in future episodes. Same with the Monster Luck Sensei. It's like, yeah, okay, sure, I get it. Monster Luck helps him with a ton of stuff just randomly happening in his favor, which can be a funny enough quirk. But at the same time, it's like, that can that might be used for some horribly contrived stuff down the line, which I hope doesn't happen. But it also already feels somewhat overused if they don't relax on it a bit. So basically at the end of the episode, he, after this month-long commitment to training martial arts, he is done with his one-month contract and he is going to go to this healer's guild, right? And pay his monthly dues and find work so he can earn money to pay for his mem membership at the healer's guild. But Broad is a good guy, gives him a chunk of silver coins for saving people and training, and then so, so he can pay for an, an entire year of this healer's guild fee uh, in return for basically coming back and training more, which he does. But he's like, okay, sure, so... It didn't really progress at all. We keep hearing that Lucio is somewhat improving, but is he actually getting anywhere? It didn't feel like this episode he actually improved in any meaningful regard. We also don't see any stats on if his MP is increasing or his magic efficiency or any of the stats are actually increasing. He says they are, but we don't see that. And not having a visual confirmation of it is a bit iffy for the viewer, I would say. But at least Broad does get him like a healing holy magic book at the end of the episode so he can start learning the other healing spell he really needs to be at a base level, which is detoxif detoxification, which I'm sure he will learn in, in the next episode or some around there, and then use it moving forward. But yeah, I mean, so far, I just don't really know how I feel about this show. Again, the premise I think is cool, and there's a lot you can do with the premise, but the show so far seems to be really much more focused on the comedy aspect. On the aspect of, look at the MC here being goofy and training hard and doing all this stuff. And we put in all this goofy humor and character models and stuff for you to laugh at and enjoy. It's like, okay, but you're leaving a lot of potential on the table by being this goofy with it. And this sort of slice of life with the show. When you have such a good premise, you can really do something ser serious with. Like, make a very deep and dark and entertaining, intriguing story. But it seems like they are not really interested in going that route at all so far, which is, again, acceptable, but a bit disappointing still. My biggest issue is, again, probably that they are going too goofy with this show so far, and also the pacing. I'm very worried about the pacing, as right now it feels off, and while I am entertained, it isn't going to last for many more weeks if they keep at this level of pacing and not really doing much outside of having some interactions and him just training and training and training and training and training. Hopefully next episode, we will see him actually go do something new. Go to a new place, meet some new people, at least have something more happen. Anyway though, we can only see and hope. That being said, that'll be the end of this episode review. I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all that good business. If you have any questions or thoughts on the episode as well, good or bad, Please do leave them below in the comment section. I will read and answer them to the best of my ability. That being said, keep watching anime. And uh, I'll see you in the next The Great Cleric episode review. So, bye-bye.